Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, I had a voice of radio. So today, I'm showing you a promotional Typhlosion card. The lovely Antoine Boulet, who is a very lovely man, did send out a tweet a little while ago. He tagged me in it. It's a new Typhlosion, so of course, let's thank him for the translation. And fortunately, as I was just starting off this video, the new Don fan got leaked. And what am I going to do? Carry on making a Typhlosion video while there's a new Don fan just sitting there, not being analysed? That's not how I'm wired, ladies and gentlemen. That's not happening. I know a lot of you do like Typhlosion. In fact, one of the cards I get asked about most often by just random people messaging and asking about cards is the Typhlosion, which is just about to rotate. The other most popular one is Toxapex GX, if anybody's interested. So, we know there's some Typhlosion fans out there. Will this new one make you Typhlosion fans again? Will it get any new ones? Maybe it will. It is a fire Pokemon, which means you're hitting weakness against grass Pokemon like Golisopod, as well as metal Pokemon like Duskmane Necrozma, that I'm still convinced is going to be great post-rotation, just as a matter of course. And of course, being a fire Pokemon does mean you've got some tricks. We did look at Heat Factory the other day. Let's you discard a fire energy from your hand and draw three cards. It's Scorched Earth with an extra card, all right? It's not amazing, but it's all right. And let's not forget that we've got Kiawe to accelerate energy on there. Or we've got Moltres, which can accelerate a little bit of energy. Or we've got Macargo GX, that lets you discard the top card of your deck. And if it's a basic energy, you can attach it to one of your Pokemon in play. To put it another way, it accelerates energy. Fire decks really like accelerating energy. It's got 150 HP. I mean, it's on the slightly lower end. You know, Dragonite and Empoleon have 160. But it's not too bad. Low, but not embarrassing. Retreat cost of... I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Not 100% sure on this. Let's say two. I don't know. It's kind of covered. Weakness to water is all right. Maybe Empoleon or Glaceon suddenly get good. But unless that happens, and I'm not convinced it will, we are sitting pretty here. So actually, not a bad little card as it goes, in terms of the basics at least. But it is a stage two, which means you're using rare candy to evolve up. And the rule with stage twos is we'll play it as long as it's good enough. Well, the first attack I like a lot. One fire energy. Search your deck for up to three fire energy and attach them to your Pokemon in any way that you like. So, yeah, you have to attach an energy to do this, but you get to accelerate free energy and you are accelerating from your deck, which is absolutely crucial here. If we take something like Reshiram GX, for instance, that allows you to attach up to five energy cards from your hand. And we do have <laughs> Fiery Flint, which should definitely just be called Flint, which can help you to search out those fire energy. But it's all kind of a bit awkward. Whereas this, you're just searching a deck, grabbing the energy, attaching it. And off you go, you are rolling. And this opens up so many possibilities. Because as much as I've just spent the last couple minutes explaining how lots of fire Pokemon are good at accelerating energy, there's a good reason for that. Because there's three things that fire Pokemon are generally good at. Accelerating energy, using energy, and discarding energy. Because if we look at the big fire attackers at the moment, we're looking at stuff like Ho-Oh GX, which needs four energy to do its good attack. Or Reshiram GX has got a really good GX attack for four energy. Or Macargo GX that does 50 damage, and then you get to discard as many fire energies you like from all of your Pokemon, and you do 50 damage for each energy discarded. It is any energy, sorry, not just fire energy. My apologies. So all of these attackers... You're just going to need to pile energy on. So as much as Fire's got some options here, it almost kind of can't ever have too many options because, well, it uses so much energy. Being a stage two is a bit of an issue here. But you use Typhlosion, and then you accelerate free energy onto a Ho-Oh, 
And then just at any point, you then attach a fourth energy and you're ready to attack. And Ho-Oh's attack is good, right? 180 damage is already KOing stuff like Rayquaza. Add a choice bad to put it up to 210 and then you're getting stuff like Zoroark. There is an awful lot to like about Ho-Oh's attack. We've seen Ho-Oh be good with Kiawe. But here's the thing, I think of 150 HP, Typhlosion isn't that likely to get one hit KO'd by that many things. Zoroark can't do it. Boswell needs free energy to do it. Actually, this is likely to stay around. So essentially what you do here is get Typhlosion up and rolling. And you get to attach one energy to Typhlosion. And then free energy to something like a Ho-Oh or a Makago from your deck. Then if you don't get KO'd... You accelerate another free energy, and you're effectively giving up one prize to accelerate six energy. That's not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. And the good news is that you've got the Celestial Storm Macargo, which gives consistency coming out of the Wazoo, meaning you're probably going to get your Typhlosion rolling. The bad news is it's still a stage two of a stage one, which is bad. But the worst news is here... Should we just be playing Kiawe? You see, Kiawe gets four energy from your deck and attaches to one of your Pokemon, and then that's the end of your turn. Typhlosion gets free energy, and then that's the end of your turn. Here's the thing. If you use Typhlosion, you can use another supporter in the meantime. Maybe a Guzma to stall, or maybe just something like a Cynthia to draw some cards. If you use Typhlosion, you've got something in the active that can take a hit, whereas if you use a Kiawe, you've also got to think about what your active Pokemon is. And although Typhlosion accelerates free energy, it's to anywhere on the field, whereas Kiawe accelerates four energy, but only to one specific Pokemon. There are advantages. As for the attack, two fire energy, one colorless, 100 damage, plus burn. Now remember the new burn rules really help you out here. 20 damage, then flip a coin if heads you're not burned, and that's between every turn. So a lot to like here. But is it actually doing enough damage? I'm not 100% convinced. Now I should mention with burn, we do have Weller Volcano Park to make sure that your opponent cannot be unburned even if they flip ahead between turns. And we've got Infernape and two different flavors thereof. But do you really want to use a stage two to back up a stage two? The answer should be no, ladies and gentlemen. The answer should be no. I'm not convinced you're doing enough damage here. It's free energy on a stage two, right? So sure, a non-GX like Tapu Koko will go down, or Latios will go down. But Empoleon won't go down. And against GXs, you better be hitting for weakness. That's all I'm saying. So let's say you're against something like a Duskmane Necrozma. Well, Duskmane Necrozma's got 190 HP and a weakness to fire. You do 100, doubled with weakness, goes up to 200, boom, KO, good job. Even against a Golisopod, you do 200, all Golisopod survives with 10 HP remaining, oh no, wait, it's burned and it goes down. Even if you're against one of the super big boys like Metagross GX or... Solgaleo GX. You can add a choice band on here and you're hitting 260 and they're going down. Okay. Good job. Good work. Yay. But if you're not hitting for weakness, you're not really getting non GXs and you're definitely not getting GXs. The one exception, and we pick on him a bit because he's got the lowest. HP by quite a bit. Marshadow GX with a choice band, you'll hit 130, then the burn kicks in and goes up to 150, and Marshadow will actually be KO'd, but that's about it. It's great if you're hitting for weakness. If you're not hitting for weakness, this doesn't do enough damage. And might I remind you at this stage, we are talking about a free energy stage two Pokemon. And I know it can accelerate energy to itself. But we're talking about a free energy stage 2 Pokemon. Too expensive. As an attacker, it's fine in a pinch. But really here, it's about accelerating energy. There is an argument to just play Kiawe. But Kiawe locks you out of your supporter for the turn. Because it is your supporter for the turn. You've got to have an active 
and let's face it, Typhlosion is as good as anything, and all the energy's got to go to one Pokemon, if you can get two or three turns of Typhlosion, you can be setting up multiple attackers, and you're ready to go. Maybe instead of putting four energy on a ho you put three energy on a ho so it's ready to go, but it's not that vulnerable to something like a Tapu Lele coming and doing extra damage. Because it does more damage depending on how much energy is attached to you. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, there is a part of me that's just a bit like, eh, I like the first attack, but we've got Kiawe, and I don't really like the second attack. I'm giving it three Wossies because I do think there is a little bit of potential here, but I'm not convinced it's a great card. And I'm not even that sure it, it's a good card. But I do kind of like it for the first attack. But I want to know what you think about this. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. That's very important. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. Otherwise, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that. Head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG radio where you can do that. And do make sure you're checking out Wossy Plays for some more Wossy action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.